Welcome to Bethel Baptist Church Worship Service at Home on the 10th of October 2021. Ian and Diane have changed the venue for their wedding to St Mary the Virgin at Bosley on Tuesday the 21st of December 2021 at 1pm. Everyone from Bethel is invited. OBU Sunday, Reverend Chris Whiteley is preaching today and a special offering will be taken for the OBU. The church weekend has been rescheduled and is now the 3rd to 5th of June 2022. If you'd like to go, please contact Andrea for an info letter and a sign-up form. Testimony. Thanks, Marion. Marion was 100 years of age on the 30th September 2021. She writes, A few years ago I had bad form and fractured my spine. Throughout this difficult time the Lord was with me, and I wouldn't be here today had he not been on my side. When I was a little girl, I went to church three times a day, morning, afternoon and evening. I married a lovely man and had two beautiful children, Gillian and Peter. Whilst giving birth to Peter, I had a thrombosis and nearly died. Peter also nearly died as the cord was tied around his neck, choking him. At this, my husband knelt at the side of my bed and got me to pray with my hands on the Bible. We were told not to have any more children as it was too risky for me. My favourite verse from the Bible sums all this up. Psalm 46 verse 1 God is my refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Amen. Thanks again Marion and many congratulations on reaching 100 years of age. Thanks Stella for this picture. Stella writes, the pistons of the machine were moving up and down in an even rhythm, resulting in the machine producing the correct product. We need to be consistent, coordinate and absolutely obedient to the Holy Spirit, allowing him to shape our character in order to bear the fruit, thus glorifying the Lord Jesus Christ. See Galatians 5 verse 22 to 23. Happy and blessed birthday to Sue on the 14th of October. And this song is chosen by Reverend Chris Whiteley. Be Thou My Vision. And you can stop the video here and go on to YouTube and worship along with this. Be Thou My Vision, of Lord of My Heart. Today's reading is from Romans chapter 1 verse 1 to 17. Please stop the video and read that passage. And the text for today is Romans 1 verse 17. For in the gospel, the righteousness of God is being revealed. A righteousness that is by faith from first to last. Just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. In this verse, Paul is showing why the gospel is the power of God to salvation to all who believe. For in the gospel, the righteousness of God is being revealed. The righteousness of God was continually being revealed as the gospel was continually being preached throughout the Greco Roman world. As we have seen previously, this whole aspect of God revealing Himself is very important, and it means an uncovering, a divine uncovering. The new age is broken into this old age through the preaching of the gospel, the power of God to all who believe. Revelation is what distinguishes Christianity from all other religions because it is God himself who is doing the revealing. So my first point is that people in the past saw it dimly. There was a need for God to make his gospel clear as in the past it was only seen dimly. 1 Peter 1 verse 10 to 12 touches on this. Concerning this salvation, the prophets who spoke of the grace that was to come, searched intently and with the greatest care, trying to find out the time and circumstances to which the Spirit of Christ in them was pointing when he predicted the sufferings of the Messiah and the glories that would follow. It was revealed to them that they were not serving themselves but you when they spoke of the things that have now been told you by those who have preached the gospel to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven. Even angels long to look into these things. So there was that dim revelation of the things to come to the Old Testament prophets, 
but it remained hidden in large me measure. Romans 16 verse 25 to 26 refers to this. Now to him who is able to establish you in accordance with my gospel, writes Paul, the message I proclaim about Jesus Christ, in keeping with the revelation of the mystery, hidden for long ages past, but now revealed and made known. To be sure, everyone who's had that revelation of Jesus Christ, they are very blessed. We are very blessed people. Compare Matthew 16 verse 17, Jesus replying to Peter's confession that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by flesh and blood, but by my Father in heaven. So my second point is that this revelation, this uncovering is an uncovering to the mind. For example, 1 Corinthians 2 verse 8 to 10 refers to this. None of the rulers of this age understood it, the gospel, for if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. However, as it is written, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived. The things God has prepared for those who love him, these are the things God has revealed to us by his Spirit. The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. So this uncovering, this revelation, is vital to understand the things of God, the Gospel of God, because the natural man cannot understand them at all, as we're told in 1 Corinthians 2 verse 14, for example. The person without the Spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, but considers them foolishness and cannot understand them because they are discerned only through the Spirit, as the Spirit reveals them. And then thirdly, this is a revelation of the end times invading human history. This uncovering, or this revelation, or this apocalypse, can also refer to the uncovering of end time events, which is also part of the gospel. The word for uh, is being revealed in our verse, for the righteousness of God is being revealed, that word is apocalyptetai, from where we get the word apocalypse. And it's a word used to refer to the end times. For example, 1 Corinthians 3 verse 13. Their work will be shown for what it is, because the day will bring it to light. It will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test the quality of each person's work. And then Romans 2 verse 5. But because of your stubbornness and your own repentant heart, you are storing up wrath against yourselves for the day of God's wrath, when his righteous judgment will be revealed. And Romans 8 verse 18 to 19. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. For the creation awaits in e eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed. And then again 2 Thessalonians 1 verse 5 to 7. All this is evidence that God's judgment is right. And as a result you will be counted worthy of the kingdom of God for which you are suffering. God is just. He will pay back trouble to those who trouble you and give relief to you who are troubled, and to us as well. This will happen when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven in blazing fire with his powerful angels. And to Thessalonians 2 verse 3, Don't let anyone deceive you in any way, for that day will not come until the rebellion occurs and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the man doomed to destruction. And again in 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 6 to 8. Now you know what is holding him back so that he may be revealed at the proper time. The secret power of lawlessness is already at work. But the one who now holds it back will continue to do so till he is taken out of the way. And then the lawless one will be revealed. Whom the Lord Jesus will overthrow with the breath of his mouth. And destroy by the splendour of his coming. There's some questions for discussion and you can join us on Wednesday at 7pm and you can get the Zoom details to do so. And then the quote of the week I've chosen. The secret of the Lord 
is with those who have been broken by the cross and healed by his spirit caught there by P.T. Forsyth and the verse I've chosen for this week is delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart let's pray our gracious loving Heavenly Father thank you that you have made yourself known to us for we are completely dependent on you to reveal your gospel to us thank you so much for those things you have revealed to us we are so grateful we pray Lord that you will give us more of the spirit of wisdom and revelation that we might know you better in and through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs>